Oh my god, I forgot to make copies. Hi, this is Matt Slauson. I'm going to demo how to use the new Toshiba copier in the faculty room and in the high school office as printers directly from your, your uh, classroom computer. So the first thing I'm going to do is open a, um, a document. I have a, a Word document open uh, that I need to print. And I believe it's four pages long. Yeah, page one of four here. So what I'm going to do is go to File and uh, print and now you're going to probably have a number of different printers that you can print to you want to make sure you choose the correct one I've got all these different printers that I can print to I'm going to make sure it's the faculty room copier that I'm printing to and then of course you want to change things to set up the print job like you would normally have it like stapling it printing to either one side or two sides uh, things of that nature so in this first um, page I can print one side or two sides in different ways so uh, I'm going to say I'm going to print both sides and I can set up that I'm uh, stapling it so staple top left and I can choose the print uh, paper size and that kind of thing I can also if I go into print properties I can change some of those things as well but I can also change a few other things I can get it to collate in certain ways like print each page or print it um, if I if I want them separated print page one then print page two and so on I can change the number of pages per sheet and a few other things this is uh, stapling in certain ways so the other thing that um, isn't in the other setup is hole punching. So if you want to hole, not hole punch or hole punch your, your document, it's right there. Once I, once I have that setting, if I click on Save Profile, if I print things the same way each time, I can name it something. And that will save the profile of how I set up my print jobs uh, so I don't have to do this every time so I'm gonna click on OK and OK to that and now it should be all set up I'm gonna select the number of copies that I want to print uh, so say four and I want to make sure I print click on print just once because it'll keep printing you may end up with a lot more copies than you need so I click once and uh, print goes away if there's a bunch of people using the copier you can go to devices and printers and since I'm doing this after school probably nobody is over there right now I'm going to go to faculty room copier and I can see if my prints in queue or if it's been printed if nothing is there it's probably been printed so then I'm going to close out of that and it's all printed you know you want to make sure you go over and get your copies and it should be uh, more than likely in the bottom tray on the left hand side of the copier so again if I want to print I go to file and print make sure I choose the copier I want or the printer I want to print to which is faculty room copier if I want to change uh, printing both sides or single side I can do that I can staple, I can set it up to landscape or portrait, change the paper size. If there's more things I need, I can go into print properties. If I know the profile setting, I can select that. So I had sloss and prints. I can change paper size here as well. I can change the source of the paper. If I go into finishing, I can change how it's handled or collated. I can also change stapling and hole punch here as well and if I did change thing I can save the profile okay and then print the number of copies I want 
and go over and pick them up. That's it. Hey look, there's my copies.